Nightfall in Chibuk, and with it, the fear returns, bringing back memories of when nearly 300 girls were abducted here. It's at no. night that people here say they feel most vulnerable, most abandoned by the outside world, which is why they've started going on nightly patrols like this ever since that horrifying night of April 14th. The men here have come together, each bringing what they could, machetes, homemade bows and arrows, trying, hoping that they will be able to protect their families. And it was very dark, but the sound of gunshot, explosions everywhere. Daniel Muvia and his family witnessed the terror firsthand. We have to run into the bushes for our lives. So it was a, it was a horrifying night. Fear is all over. Fear is everywhere. Daybreak does bring respite, but the burnt-out school stands as a reminder of the sheer scale of the devastation. Nearly a month since the night when the radical Islamist group Boko Haram stormed this town. More than 200 of the girls are still missing. Tired of waiting for help to arrive, fear is making way here for resilience. We're told it was four terrifying hours of gunfire, grenades and looting as the villagers here cowered in the bush. But as you can see, life in Chubuk is already returning to some semblance of normal. The reality is, as we've heard from the people we've been speaking to here, that with no end in sight, to the continuing Boko Haram attacks. The villagers say that they've had to learn to pick themselves up and just get on with their lives. Nemal Bagher, CNN, Chibuk.